Hello and welcome to this episode of Depress Room. My name is Amal Chaudhary and today we will be talking about how the world is coming forward to help Australia in this time of crisis. The world has watched with horror as bushfires have torn across Australia, leaving a trail of destruction in their wake. The blazes have razed almost 2,000 homes and killed at least 25 people and hundreds of millions of animals since they began in September. People in Australia and abroad, including politicians and celebrities, have been eager to find ways to offer assistance and support. Here are some of the ways that the world has responded to Australia's bushfire crisis and what help those responding to the crisis say is needed. Many people have made financial donations to help with the response to the crisis. One fundraiser for the fire services in New South Wales, that is the NSW, launched by Australian comedian Calisty Barber, raised more than 20 million Australian dollars in just 48 hours. It's now top 30 million Australian dollars with donations from more than 1.1 million people. Big businesses in Australia has also placed significant contributions. Some of the biggest sums offered to the relief efforts have come from celebrities. US singer Pink, Australian pop star Kylie Minogue, Oscar-winning actress Nicole Kidman, British singer Elton John and Australian actor Chris Hemsworth are among those to make major donations. Others have taken a more unusual approach. Australian cricketer great Shane Vaughan was set to raise more than 300 Australian dollars for the Australian Red Cross Disaster Relief and Recovery Fund by auctioning off his prized baggy green test cap. British actress Phoebe Waller-Bridge meanwhile said she would auction off the suit she wore to the Golden Globes to raise money for relief efforts. Australian tennis player Nick Kyrgios, known for his powerful serve, said he would donate 200 Australian dollars for every ace he hit at every tournament he entered in January. Fire-ravaged communities have also been inundated with donations of toy, food, clothes and furniture. But officials have warned that such generosity can sometimes cause problems. A spokesperson for the state of New South Wales Office of Emergency Management, that is the OEM, said the deluge of goods could potentially spark a second disaster. He says that unfortunately what usually happens is local communities become overwhelmed very quickly with donated goods. Adding that donations can clog up halls used for recovery meetings. Officials said communities in Victoria had the same problem and those wanting to help should do so financially, whether through donations or direct spending in affected towns. We do not need any more food, we do not need any more clothes. Give money, support the local businesses and the communities, the state's police and emergency services minister Lisa Neville was reported as saying. Actress Russell Crowe and Cat Blanchett used their Golden Globes speech to highlight Australia's bushfire crisis and climate change. When one country is facing a climate disaster, we are all facing a climate disaster, Blanchett said in the speech. Australian actress Margaret Robbie posted an emotional appeal on Instagram, sharing pictures of her childhood to show how beautiful our country is. Most of those battling Australia's fire are unpaid volunteers, thousands of people who have given up their time and risked their lives to help deal with the crisis. In a tweet, PM Scott Morrison thanked the US, New Zealand, Canada and Singapore for their support on the ground. People around the world have also been knitting blankets and protective pouches for animals which have lost their homes in the crisis. The Animal Rescue Craft Guild told a news agency it had been inundated with offers to make items including bat wraps, koala mitten and animal beds. On the Guild's Facebook page, people from countries including Canada, the US, UK posted a message about their efforts. So this is it from this episode of Depress Room. For more such videos, keep watching My Nation.